half of it went in my jumpsuit. Oh, I don't use that inch anymore. <laughs> I'm so tired. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. As you can tell, I came back from brunch. The birthday celebrations continue. That was good. It was supposed to be brunch at Mildred's, but they had a two-hour wait. I'm like, yeah, okay. Because whenever restaurants say that, it's because they're overwhelmed and they don't want you to actually put your name on the list. But since I worked in the industry for so long, I'm ahead of it. But it was actually a two-hour wait because we got the text when we left the other place that we went to instead saying your table's now ready. <laughs> yeah, five years later. So for the first time ever, they were actually on point with their seating estimation, which is great. That place is popping. I'll take you another time. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <sighs> but I slept in today. I slept until 10, which is really late for me. I don't understand how that works. But anyways, another day, another dollar. Evening, sorry I'm checking in so late, but you know how that goes. It's a Monday, right? This is how I switch from day to night mode. Computer goes on the floor, chair goes in. This is the most I've used this chair since I bought it. I need to take this down. I use my lunch break to film the video that I usually film Saturday morning. I have my little pod setup, which is the same as my YouTube setup, just minus the camera. Oh, I didn't even realize I had it on all these hours. People have been asking, oh, your podcast, how do you set up? I don't do the whole headphone sound room thing. Everything's here. We keep it low key. All I do is I turn this on and I talk off the top about a topic that came to me either today or yesterday far away, whatever inspires me. I try to just go off the top and sometimes, because you know, I can do a long run on. <laughs> sometimes my tangents are like marathons. So I do a little bit of editing on Final Cut Pro afterwards, but this is a setup. I literally sit in my favorite chair and I talk, well, here, so you guys can see. I take this down a notch because this is the height that's perfect for sitting up there, but regular chairs are not that high because this, are you hearing this? You know how many times I've set and restarted my phone so that it would notify me when T goes live on Spotify. And this is the first time ever it actually notified me. So I'm gonna listen to a bit, then I'm gonna pod for a bit because I gotta edit my pods and I'd rather have that done since everyone always takes care of their business first. So before I indulge in somebody else's business, I gotta do mine too, right? Well, there's just a lot to unpack with this situation. And one of the things that I find out myself really looking at it. Oh my god, the construction. Can you hear it? Oh, okay, good, because it's really loud. That's here and here. We're gonna figure it out today. I'm gonna wash my hair during my lunch break. I'm just gonna make a super quick smoothie. Where's my avocado? There we go. <laughs> my favorite one. As per usual, if you've watched my vlogs before, you already know which one this is. I'm gonna do this super quick. I know if I wasn't so lazy and I used a spoon, this would be a lot less messy. Feels like it's midnight, but I don't know if you can see my phone from here. It's 8.30. I want to go to bed, but I have so much to do. Can you believe I went all the way downtown just to take an outfit picture? Because I didn't take one on my birthday. I wanted to be in the moment, okay? But then I realized uh, Instagram won't care. The algorithm doesn't care. So luckily, David was loving enough and supportive enough to meet me to take a pic and he's like, everyone's watching you. So we went on the rooftop to take it. And obviously, who's going out in the cold on the rooftop for a photograph? 
Well, they cycle. Don't you love how I use this as like my little duffel bag? Anytime I need to pack multiple fits, this is the bag for it. Look, my other dress. Morning guys, this is the first time in over a week that I've made it to the gym. Oh, it's been so long. I woke up late, so I'm gonna do a little walk. They specialize in figuring out solutions for people with disabilities, who've been through recent injuries, just anyone who would need assistance doing what they used to be able to do or could never ever do. So funny, he recommended to me that I get a TV mounted on the wall and then cast my laptop off. And I was laughing and he's like, it's a joke, but it's also true. A lot of his clients who have retinal detachments do that. but. Uh, I haven't had a TV for five years. I'm not really going to get one anytime soon, but who knows, as things get worse, and they've been getting worse, maybe that'll be an option in my next place. They also recommended getting another monitor, but uh, space is something your girl kind of lacks. And by the way, sorry, my battery died. I haven't charged it in two days. I've been really lacking with the vlogging, okay? A couple weeks ago, I was on A1. That's why they were so long, because I was vlogging and then charging at least three times a day. Thank God for these extra batteries. Anyways, don't judge the fit. The mismatch is, I just threw on this sweater since I was cold and I didn't want to turn the heat because I had it on all last night. The nights are getting colder, they're getting longer. I'm not here for this return to sender. Anyway, I'm gonna put this stuff away, get back at it like a crack at it. And what else was I gonna say to you guys? I completely forgot. There was something else about accessibility. Oh, that's it. He recommended, wait for it, wait for it, blind fam is going to know, the Zoom text. Zoom text is, I guess, a tried and true software application. I've been hearing about it since 2011, so it's nothing new. I've tried it. I had a trial run that my optometrist gave me. I didn't really like it. But that's his best suggestion, so you know what? It's been a decade. I was diagnosed almost 12 years ago. So we're trying again, right? And if not, he said he'll follow up. So that's that on that. Just wanted to give you, whoa, that's called chaos. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys that update. I'm gonna have a super quick lunch because now it's after one. Time is flying. And then I might have last night, so it might be fun to bring you guys out. Remember when it looked like this at 9 p.m.? Hmm. Those days will be back six months from now. But look, I've been meaning to show you guys this and I keep forgetting during the day. A couple weeks ago, let me turn on the light. Can you see better now? A couple weeks ago, I decided to try and propagate, which I've never done before. And it actually worked. Do you see those roots? Girl, I never thought I'd be happy to see roots grow out. Because when I used to dye my hair, it wasn't about that life. But I'm going to spend some time tonight, not right now, because I want to still do some after work stuff. I'm gonna spend some time tonight. I love that I'm such a dork when it comes to plants. Why am I excited about this? I'm gonna put in some soil, that's what we're gonna do. So that I'm gonna go to pole class tonight. I haven't been in what, three weeks now? So I figured I might as well go, even though the class is later than I'd like. And I usually do groceries afterwards. I'm gonna try to go before, but then lugging it doesn't sound like much fun. We'll see. I just wanted to let you know where we're going because I've been really bad at that lately. Usually you just see me somewhere else. I just don't give myself enough time to let you know where we're going. So let's go. What else do I need? First bag, hopefully. This is gonna be so ghetto going into the dance studio with groceries, but hey, if the store is open, I'd go after, but is not, so what can a girl do? Oh no! Good morning guys, my skin feels so dry. I've been using my favorite face wash, I don't know if they reformulated it or what, but 
Today's another day, another dollar. I am going to enjoy some matcha as I check through. I like to log in a little early to make sure I know what's going up. Especially since I'm visually impaired, it takes me longer to do everything. I'm going to put myself together today. If you're wondering why you didn't see a pole montage, it's because I didn't go. I got all the way there, went grocery shopping, and then I sat down. I'm like, I really don't feel like waiting because I was an hour out because I didn't want to be late. But I was too early, so I'm like, you know what? It's not meant to be. I love this time of day. It's so pretty in here. Oh, I love how they pack this so nicely. Um. Oh, silica. I thought one of the reeds were broken. I'm like, um, return to sender right away. I say return to, return to sender for everything, by the way. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Moment of truth. I ordered this literally a month ago, but it was back ordered until the 20th of October. I fell in love in a hopeless place. Yo, this smells so freaking light, beautiful, just like if heaven had a scent. I don't even need to smell the other two because I choose you, Pikachu. This one smells so freaking good. I wish I had multiple rooms because I, I only need one for my bathroom. But this, if I had like a bedroom area, this would be perfect because it's a very dreamy scent. This one says Baltic. Baltic Amber, so I was right. Okay, blind girl. It's probably going off my memory, let's be real. And this one is French, French Cade Lavender. Um, oh, isn't this so pretty though? Is there like a, of course they would. I don't want to open it in case I hate it, then they can't resell it and then it's wasted. I can't really tell them. I've been through trauma on the way. It's upside down. I don't know. I can kind of smell it through here. It's not wowing me the way that one did. Baby. Never changed into my home clothes so quick. I am so ready for that. You know I don't do takeout often. I might go up to restaurants more than I should, but do I order food to my house? Do I stop off at places on my way home? No. But today I felt like since it's the beginning of a long weekend, why not? I'm so excited for this. I wish I filmed what it looked like when I went to grab this, because that place is making bank. That's the new business. I'm telling you, sushi on a Thursday. I'm gonna eat all of this all by myself. Actually, maybe not. I keep forgetting to tell them don't waste their time packing the salad because it always looks, no. I hate salad and if I'm gonna have salad, I'm gonna make it myself. Without salad dressing, I know I'm a weirdo. If you're like me, let me know because every time I tell someone that I hate ketchup, I hate salad dressing, they think I'm a sicko. Let me show you quickly before I let you go for the evening. I'm gonna put this on the side just cause this was on their countertop and you know, germaphobe. A little bit of a germaphobe. I like this glue. If you get a gift with some of that on top, you know where it came from. I do reuse tissue because I feel like it's such a waste. I repurchased this. I'm so excited to put this in my bathroom tonight. Hopefully it smells strong. I was only supposed to get this with the duties taken off, but then when I saw this, when I put it on the counter, it kind of toppled and I was like, knowing me, Colette's over here. I thought it'd be so perfect in the backdrop of my videos, or maybe even... Actually, no. What do you think? Why do I like stupid things? I can't lie. For someone who's been blind for 11 years, I still do things like look like I can still see. Beyond me. My top stores for shopping for home things, Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, West Elm, Crate and Barrel for glassware. Even in my little bachelor, I still got my expensive taste. How is this not the most beautiful, sophisticated thing ever? I love it. I'm just scared of it because, like I said, I'm a klutz. Then my friend's obsessed with soap, don't ask. So I thought, you know what? This one smells so good and it has a little ornament. Let me give that to her. TMI, but I've been looking for these for a long time. They're 40 something dollars on Amazon. I had bought a pair. They were pink, which I'm not pink, <laughs> but they were pink. I got them for what, either free 99 or something really cheap at Pretty Little Thing back in the day when I used to shop there religiously. Tell me why. I had them in the bag 
and I threw the bag away. And because it's so light, I didn't realize when I put the bag in recycling that I threw them away. They didn't come in a nice box like this. So I got these literally three years later. And hopefully it'll work. Not that I need it this season because what top am I wearing that I have to worry about a nip slip, but still, three years in the making. If you saw two vlogs ago, I had bought a bunch of clips and they weren't it. So I'm gonna try these out. And if they're not good, you know, I have no shame going back to the store. The holidays are coming. And even though I'm gonna skip Christmas, I think I'm still gonna get just my mom and my brother something. And what I'm thinking of getting for my mom will fit in this little box. Okay, okay, where's my chopsticks? Do you see chopsticks? Cause I don't. And they weren't in the bag. <laughs> Got two that I have is watering. That's how you know I'm hungry. Wait, I got a mix of wasabi first. I've been told that this is not real wasabi. Mm. Not as good as blooming orchid, or whatever it's called. You know, for the longest time I said I would never get sick of sushi until there was a period in my life where I had all you can eat literally every weekend. It's when you map it out so that it flows better for energy sake. I, I know, I, I know Listen, seeing you got ritualistic. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now, cause I'm falling apart. I have to head out to get my nails done. We're really doing a design, which I haven't done in a long time. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I have to figure that out real quick because the clock is ticking. Oh, I still have to switch this and save my savings. Anywho, I think I'm going to switch my fit because the shoes I wanted to wear, the way the weather is looking, I'm not trying to mash them up with the rain, so I might wear something else, but we'll see. Either way, I got to figure out real quick because once I leave, I'm not coming back until later, but I'll show you when I get there. Now, because we're falling apart. It took exactly two hours on the dot to get here. I was stuck on a bus for an hour and 27 minutes. I was only supposed to be 22 minutes. <sighs> what a mission. That's super weird. if you ask me this is crazy i need soy oyster that's the oil okay let's add these i'm just gonna free pour it should be good enough cooking unlike baking is not supposed to be a science it's supposed to be how you feel now if i only had a natural feeling about cooking with the rainy weather i was really craving ramen on the way back if I didn't fall asleep and miss my stop, I might have actually gotten some. Like a Sunday. Like I'm exhausted. It doesn't feel like it. Half of it went in my jumpsuit. I'm gonna film the season finale of Atlanta tomorrow morning. I better not cry. I feel like I didn't add enough again. Where? Not only do I hear more, I definitely am more sensitive to salt. That's why I don't add much of it. A little bit of Scotch wine. <laughs> Kitchen utensils I bought but barely use. Number 32. It's such a chill vibe, but let me turn it off before I get copyright claimed. Before I eat, I wanted to show you my little treats. Since you probably couldn't see clearly when I was in the store, I used my iPhone because I feel weird taking out my camera. Whenever I do, people ask if I'm a vlogger. Yeah. So I got two of these because these are the best. They last me six months and they were 50% off for my birthday, so hey. Hey, hey, hey. And if you don't know, I'm gonna do a TikTok on it so you know exactly how good these are, so stay tuned for that. They're dead sea salt scrubs. My skin, oh, never felt so soft. And then I got a couple more goodies. Sage has 25% off as their pre-Black Friday sale. I've been getting so many emails lately, have you too? Every company is trying to do 40, 50, but their pre-Black Friday sales are like two weeks early. I'm like, dang, you guys haven't had a good quarter if you're starting the sales so early. This is the same one I got last year. I can't wait to use it. I'm probably gonna use it tomorrow after I go to the gym. Mmm, it's Sugar Plum Fairy and it's only available during Christmas, naturally. 
I bought like 10 of these. Okay, maybe not 10. I think I bought four or five last year as part of gifts. But this year I just got one because I don't even know if people liked it when I gifted it. And then this is something I wanted to get a couple months ago, but I said, girl, finish your bath products first. This will also be in the TikTok. This is mm, the best smelling bath salt ever. And I'm not even big on bath salt. I'm actually scared of them ever since I saw that video years ago of the man eating the other guy's face. You remember that? The world is a crazy place. These are 20 each. But since it's 25% off, I said, you know what? Let me just stock up on, I don't like, I'm not gonna get my phone to zoom in. There's no point. But one of them is another bottle of chai because you know I'm obsessed with that. Ginger snap, because I'm obsessed with ginger anything. Spa day. And this one off should be Cedar Embrace or, oh no, it's like Cabin Fog or Cabin Vibe or something. Cabin, I don't know. Two of these are Christmas scents. One is a fall release, limited edition. I guess this is the Christmas one because it's green. And then Spa Day is a regular one. That's my quick call. I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys in the morning. Although it's really gray today. As long as it doesn't rain the way it rained yesterday, I'll be okay. I still haven't made reservations for tonight. Not like me. The girl who hosts this for a decade should be a little bit more prepared than I am. Ooh, samples. Okay. I got finally finally got a full size of this i received a sample a year ago and i tried it and i'm like yo this is good and i figured with the more vision i lose it's good to have products that are so easy to use so this is i hope it's the right shade if not i'm taking it back today this is a brow gel from anastasia i used to love their brow pencil until i discovered benefits precisely my brows nothing can top that so the days when I'm in a rush and I don't want to get my strokes wrong, because even on my birthday, one of my friends was like this. I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> good thing I didn't take pictures. Just a couple selfies because my makeup was not good this time a week ago. So I think this is the right shade it looks to be. I just assumed I'd be dark brown. Ooh. So I love makeup that's idiot poof. Even with this 10X, it's getting harder and harder to see what I'm doing which is why I'm obsessed with the mascara I got that you saw in my VIB sale haul. I wouldn't buy it again because I prefer the gold tube. I don't know what it's called, Dark, Dark Star or something by, what's her name? Pat McGrath, nothing tops that, but it's fancy. I wanted to give Rare Beauty a try. So I figured, you know what? They had a duo with a liquid liner and I tried. I haven't done liquid liner in years, but I'm not bad at it. Not as bad as I thought I'd be for someone who can't see her waterline or upper lash line anymore. So just like that, this is a lot smaller than I thought it'd be, especially for how much it is. Everything is so expensive in Canada. I'm looking for a sponsor to help me move somewhere else. I don't think I could live in the States. There's just too much going on there, but at least the wages, actually no, the wages to the life standard of living is crazy there too. Like when you find out minimum wage in some states is like five, six dollars an hour. Never me in that. I don't know how people survive on that. The lowest I ever was paid was when I was 14, 7.25. That was our minimum wage back then. Cause I love me some makeup by Mario. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try lip product. That doesn't really give anything. I'm gonna leave the good scents to Fenty Beauty cause all her lip products smell so delicious. It's giving juicy fruit. Mmm, but this shine is giving juicy though. You clean up a little bit, just a little, little bit, it, it. Why am I so weird? It's a few hours later, even though it's looking like a lot of hours later, it's just been overcast all day. Would you believe the first couple takes were completely blurry? So I'm eating lunch really late. Hungry doesn't begin to describe how I feel, guys. I cannot tell you. If this fajita could cook itself any faster, I would be happy, but it's okay. As far as quick meals go, this is going to be good. I just hope it doesn't spoil my appetite for supper in a bit because we're going to a restaurant that I saw a couple months ago and I'm like, I really want to go. There was a few on the list. I actually spent two hours, wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not looking at different lists because there's so many like six best new, a hundred best, Canada's best, must go to try, must try Toronto. Yeah, 
this is definitely the hub of different types of food. I looked into Indian, Thai, Chinese. I was over Italian because I've been doing that way too much. French cuisine and I had take so long. It's not that I'm taking two hours because I'm doing the most. It's because it takes me that long to zoom in and read. I'm gonna wipe my makeup off my face or just go downtown like this. I don't really like wearing foundation outside the house. I know it's so weird. I wear it for YouTube because <laughs> the way people have come for me in the past, mm -mm. You gotta put that face on. Oh, oh shucks. This one, I don't know where I found him from. Until next time, good night. <laughs>